What is up guys, it's EJ Webbs here, back with another video, and today is a very special video. Actually, I actually think I say very special video about all my videos, but you know what? It's very special because this is my 200 subscriber special. And what am I going to be doing for my 200th subscriber special? Well, what I'm be doing is I'm going to open up one of every single Sun and Moon series set. So I want to thank, thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. This was a definitely a long journey and battle for me. I've had this channel for almost three years. In July, it'll be three years. And I finally feel like I'm finally getting some traction and I can get actually some goals accomplished on this channel. So I wanna thank everyone for subscribing so far. Let's hope the journey to 300 is much faster because I wanna to get to 300 by May. So I appreciate everyone who subscribed, comments, like my videos. You guys are the true MVP. I also want to thank C Franzi Gaming. He is one of my best friends. He started a Blue Blue Star Defense Battles channel. He has helped my channel grow so much. He always always shows me out on my live stream and always gets people to subscribe to me. So this is very nice. Thank you. I'll link his channel in the description below. But let's get into this uh, pack opening. We have one of every Sun and Moon series set from Sun and Moon all the way down to Cosmic Eclipse. So yeah, let's see what he pulls. Here we got 16 packs to go. I will talk about the packs a little bit as I open this. I've actually sat on these packs since August. It's been like six months. So here we go. Here is the first set. Uh, Sun and Moon base. This first set that features GX cards. Also has the Ultra Ball Secret Rare that everyone loves. That's the most expensive card from this set. And this was the first Sun and Moon series set. There's the code. Four to the front. And we have a Lightning Energy, Corsola, Trumbeak, Energy Switch, which skipped a Rock and Rolla, Marini, Crab Roller, Growlithe, Sir Skit. We have a Poison Vibe Reverse. And we have a Soul Galeo GX. So starting off with a Ultra Rare Soul Galeo GX. That's awesome. Here is. The next pack, Guardians Rising, of course, had the Tapu Lele and the Double Colors Energy. Tapu Lele now is only like $5. So yeah, not really too valuable of a card right now. And these cards have a little damage on them. Good thing their rare was fine. Here is the Dark Energy, Vanillish, Enhanced Hammer, Alomomola, Gligar. Litwick, Clefairy, Tentacool, Cast Form, Vanillite Reverse, and then we have a Mudsdale Hollow. So pretty good there. We have a Hollow Mudsdale. Put that down there. So two white codes out of the first two packs. We have a Burning Shadows now. This set has the Hyper Rare Charizard that everyone wants. Let's get into this. Hopefully we can pull it. Of the four Charizards, I've only pulled one. But at least I do have one, so this is pretty good. All right, so we have a Fairy Energy, Soul Rock, Plumeria, Simapore, Togedemaru, Dewpiter, Cutie Fly, Riolu, Alolan Grimer. Here is a Reverse Rare, Alolan Ninetales, and then a Weavile Regular Rare. Here is Shining Legends. One of the uh, special sets in 2017. This has shiny Pokemon GX, of course. And you're guaranteed a hollow in every pack. So let's get into this. Shining Legends. I've not opened up this set in a long time. Every code is a white code. Of course, the Test Tube Mewtwo is the most valuable card in the set. We have the Energy, Ultra Ball, Feraligator, How. Voltorb, Golet, Ekans, Reloom, Stun Fisk, Croconaw Reverse, and then we have a Reshiram Hollow. That almost works as a regular rare in this set because there isn't really anything too good besides uh, shiny Pokemon. But here we have Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. This is one of the least like sets. There isn't really many cards that are valuable. I think it's Lucimine Floor or, Fl or Rainbow Rare Buzzwall. I like how all the codes are facing the right way. So here we have a Dark Energy, 
Haunter, Sea of Nothingness, Ace of Gore, Carablast, Feebas, Salandit, Cubone, Weedle, Saravia Reverse, and then a Mamoswine, regular rare. So definitely uh, maybe slow down a bit since the first two packs. Here we have the Ultra Prism pack, one of my favorite sets from the era. And this also has gold cards of Solgaleo and Lunala. Also, Prism Stars were introduced, and Full Art Cynthia, which I do have in my collection. I've not opened an Ultra Prism pack in like a long time. Get into this. Here is a Psychic Energy, Shield On, Looker, Luxio, Pachirisu, Gibble, Bronzor, Crowagunk, Magnemite, Piplup Reverse, and I see something. Ooh! Oh! Dusk Main Necrozma GX Full Art. Wow, Ultra Prism coming through in the clutch. Oh my goodness. That is an amazing card. This is what I wanted. Oh, this I saw the texture. And this is a really good centered card. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Two uh, technically Sogaleo pulls. Here we have Forbidden Light. This is another set I really like. This features six gen Pokemon, which I think is my second gener uh, second favorite generation. So yeah, I love this set. Pop this bad boy open. All right. Here we have a lightning and enter. Why did I say lightning? This is a grass, you idiot. This is Brakeson, Fossil Excavation Map, Zygarde, Crow Gunk, Execute, Scatterbug, Gibble, Rockruff, Empoleon Reverse, and then a Guzzlord Hollow. A lot of Guzzlord action recently in the Pokemon TCG. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this is Celestial Storm with Rayquaza. GX. I have Joey Crazy GX. Uh, a lot of amazing full arts in the set. A lot of reprint cards from the Neo and EX set era. The most valuable card I'm pretty sure is Rayquaza our Rainbow Rare. Alright, here we go. We have a Fairy type energy, Masked Royal, Minior. Illumise, we have a Alolan Rattata, Torchic, Metatite, Chinchu, Gulpin, Rainbow Brush Reverse, and then a Metacham, Regular Rare. All right, Dragon Majesty, this is another special set. Of course, there's a Gold Ultra Necrozma card that everyone wants. There are so many cool cards in this set. So let's get into it. It's also like Shiny Legends where it's a hollow in every pack. to show the code so we have an energy Darmanitan there's a Cedra Combuskin Magikarp Jamo O Litten Kitten Swablu Trapinch Milotic Reverse and then a Reshiram GX another GX to add to the collection Dragon Majesty coming through so there we go I have not pulled a Prism Star in a long time because I haven't opened up these old sets. One thing I like about this opening is that I have to open up so many new sets I haven't opened in a long, long time. Like, I don't remember the last time I opened up Crimson Invasion or Ultra Prism or Forbidden Light. It's been like at least a year and a half, maybe. Here we go, Lost Thunder. I've opened up so much of this set. Uh, I know it's the most valuable card. There's not really too many valuable cards in this set. It's a big set, so let's just get into it. So even if you do get a green code, you have a potential to get a Prism Star. And then Energy, Lampent, Grovile, Adventure Bag, Dedenne, Cyndaquil, Pineco, Eevee, 
Bruxish, Cyndaquil, Reverse, and then a Steelix, regular rare. Here is Team Up. Of course, the most valuable card is probably Erica's Hospitality. Uh, I mean, even might not be anymore because it's reprinted for Hidden Fates, but it is a pretty valuable card at the time I pulled it. It's around like $40. I think the most valuable card I'm going to set now is the Peek Around Rainbow there. Team, team Up was one of my favorite sets too. Definitely in the top five of my Sun Moon sets. I think I might do an opening where I open up my five favorite sets from Sun and Moon. That's definitely an option. So we have a Darkness Energy, Tauros, Lavender Town, War Turtle, Pidgey, Dratini, Ponyard, Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, Jinx Reverse, and then an Alolan Ninetales Holographic. So another Holographic to add to the stack. So that's three Ultra Rares, three Hollows. So here we go. This is Detective Pikachu, a small promotional set released. I think in May or August, no, May or April, I think. This has four cards in it, all on hollows, and all of them are 3D rendered Pokemon. Basically, to advertise the movie. I have all cards in the set, so there's nothing really too interesting to go on. The most valuable card in the set is probably Charizard Hollow, which is like $2. And notice, these have, uh, they're weird cards, they have a print line on them and there's a holographic bleed on them, that's really cool. So the Charmander, Bulbasaur, Lick a Tongue, and then Ludicolo Hollow. Nothing really too good going on for that one. But here is Unbroken Bonds. This is a set that everyone loves because it's a Reshiram Charizard Rainbow Rare. Another shot at a Rainbow Charizard. So a lot of cool cards. And of course, the tag teams also have all cards in the set, which are some of my favorite cards. And just eat that shit up, man. Okay, so we have a green leaf energy. Beast Bringer, bringing the beast, power plant, Laron, Tentaculio, drowsy sit in a tree, Kubone, Grab Roller, Sandile, Spiro Reverse, and then a Puff Puff Pass, wheezing regular rare. Did I put that on the, yeah, I did put that on the first house for team up. Here is Unified Minds. Of course, the most valuable card in the set is the Mewtwo and Mew GX Rainbow Rare. I don't want to open the set anymore because I've opened up so much of it. But here we go. Rip this bad boy open. Okay. Here we have a Lightning Energy, Dedene. I have a Lurantis, Giant Bomb. Uh, the first pack of Unified Minds, I pulled the Giant Bomb Secret Rare. We have a Shroomish, Slackoth, Rifloon, Dupiter, Grudagon, Slackoth Reverse, and then a Necrozma Regular Rare. Here we go, Hidden Fates, one of the best sets. And even though I have one pack, I'm so, open, so excited to open it because this was one of the most popular sets because it has the shiny cards, so many gum. Good pulls, so much awesomeness from the set. Of course, the most valuable card in the set is the Hyper Rare Char uh, great Shiny Charizard, which I pulled. That is one of my most viewed videos on this channel of me pulling it. I would definitely hope to pull it again. So, there you go with the code. All right, so we have a energy. Misty's Determination, Scyther, Jinx, Leferi, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Misty's Cerulean Gym, Reverse, and then a Snorlax Regular Rare. So it looks like that, that pin collection I bought was a total bust. We have one more pack, Cosmic Eclipse. This is the last set in the Sun Moon era. This set features uh, tag team trainers. It features uh, character cards. So even if you don't get a white coat, you can still get something good in the pack. All right, last code of this video. All right, here we go. We have a Fire, Hakomo, Rotom, Typhonol, Teddy Ursa, 
Golet, Dupiter, Helioptile, Carvana. There we go! Piplup character card. And then a Walrein regular rare. So I gotta say, that was a pretty good opening for this video. Let's go over all the pulls. I'll be back in a second. So I'm back, gonna summarize all my pulls. And coming from mainly single packs and blisters, I think three ultra rares out of 16 packs is pretty good. Here's everything. We do have a Reshiram Hollow, we have a Mudsdale Hollow, Guzzlord Hollow, Alola Ninetales Hollow, so four hollows. We have a Piplup character card, and then we have the Dustman and Krama Krasma GX, Reshiram GX, and Solgaleo GX. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. The road to 300 is officially there. 99 left if I, as I'm recording this video. Thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you sticking around and enjoying my crazy videos. I'm really crazy. I don't know why I said that. But thank you so much. I really love you guys. Enjoy Web Nation. See you in the next one. Goodbye.